it's um, time for another video um, from me. Um, in the background here, which might be flickering a little bit, um, but you know, there it is, um, <clears throat> is a documentary called um, The Atomic Cafe, and it's uh, the story of um, atomic weapons uh, and warfare since um, Hiroshima at the end of World War II. And um, the reason that's there is um, one of the things that I'm fascinated with is uh, the potential um, for um, destruction and illness and generally bad things um, that uh, atomic energy and um, nuclear weapons have uh, afforded us as a, a species. And I, I don't know really um, where I will take this in the art that I'm making, but it's pretty clear that um, it's a big theme for me. Um, yeah, I grew up in New Zealand in the, I was born in 77, so uh, I grew up in the 80s under the shadow of the bomb, as we all did. And, um, you know, I never, I've talked to people who are kind of a generation ahead, and um, they remember the kind of duck and cover. Oh, I've got one friend from, from the States who remembers the uh, duck and cover um, pussycat. This is Sophie. Duck and cover drills. <laughs> um, you know, in the 50s and 60s. Uh, and um, so, uh, growing up in New Zealand during that time, um, we were, uh, as a nation, opposed to atomic weapons, and we had a very bold leader called David Longy, who declared New Zealand um, a nuclear-free zone, and we got, um, we got in some trouble with that internationally, and some French terrorists came over and put a bomb on a ship that was going to go and protest nuclear testing in the, uh, in the Pacific, um, and that ship was called the Rainbow Warrior, and they blew a big hole in it, and that was a, you know, that was, um, I don't know, it was kind of a, you know, a thing that happened when I was a kid, and it's kind of stuck in my memory, um, you know, that other countries felt so strongly um, about their right to test atomic devices in the South Pacific, which is pretty much where we live, um, that, you know, they would engage in kind of uh, espionage to uh, make sure that that keeps happening. Um, yeah, the other thing was, um, and I make a little joke that I miss the Cold War, um, it was a, and I'm, I think I'm quoting a historian here, but I can't remember who, but it was a very stable time in... Um, politically for the world that, that you know, these super, two superpowers, basically, um, the USSR and the USA were kind of strung tight like a rubber band in their kind of Cold War um, manoeuvres of amassing more and more nuclear missiles. Um, and, uh, yeah, so as a kid, there was always this idea that there'd be a nuclear war sometime and that just might happen because someone might press the button. Um, and, uh, and I think in New Zealand we thought we wouldn't probably get any bombs on us, but the thing that we were, well, that I as a child was scared of was the nuclear winter, you know, that the bombs would all go off and then uh, and there'd be no sun and no food and we'd all get radiation sickness and our hair would fall out. And that would generally be... Um, <clears throat> quite a bad time. <coughs> um, you know, to be living living with that. Uh, yeah, so I'm a bit, clearly a bit vague. I stayed up way too late last night. Um, I've got a, in my day job, I've got a big project on and I'm kind of racing to meet a deadline. And, you know, we're going to make it, but I'm just kind of a little bit sleepy today and I was, um, lying in bed thinking, oh, I haven't, you know, recorded my video diary for a while, and that's an important part of my process as an artist and stuff. Um, so I went online um, and ordered a book um, that I've completely forgotten the name of, but it's about the history of, um, oh, kitty, you're so cute, my cat's been so cute. Um, the history of um, sound used in art installations, which is something I'm really interested in. Um, and, uh, you know, I've tweeted the link to that so you can go and look at it. Um, and it's on my Tumblr, um, roll as well, which is down the right-hand side of my website. Um, so I went onto Amazon and I just bought the book. I bought the paper cover one because it was like $70 cheaper than the hardcover one. 
and uh, I've got the fast shipping option so um, you know that's gonna arrive hopefully in February sometime and I can start doing some proper research um, into the kind of art that other people have made in the area that I'm interested in because that's you know it's important well, it is, it's important, otherwise I might just make a fool of myself and do some thing that someone else did kind of five years ago and not even reference it and other people will be like, oh, yeah, oh, 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 and I'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I didn't do any research. Um, so that's kind of happening and I, what I, I think will happen with this video diary is I'll end up talking about um, what I've read most recently and my reactions to it, but I'm not quite there yet. And I want a book as well because the internet's a bit... Um, can be a bit of a hard way to do research if you're kind of just beginning because it, there's so much information um, in, in a book it's kind of some smart people have kind of gathered the information they have and then you know then I'll have a basis to kind of branch out from there from so I was lying in bed thinking um, I've already a video diary it's been a few days and uh, and and yesterday a friend sent a link to kind of 15 horrible ways to die or something and, and uh, radiation sickness and featured a lot in it and I thought well you know maybe I'll do that um, put the video on behind me and talk um, talk at the same time one of the things that I quite get excited by gives me a little um, oh this this bit of the this bit of the um, this is really interesting they're um, about to test um, a bomb on an island and this is this fucking hokey propaganda video where they're saying oh the natives are nomadic people and they enjoy this little bit of interest they're really don't care that we're going to ship them off the island and blow it to Jesus and it'll be uninhabitable for the next 5,000 years. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty troubling stuff, really. Um, I've completely uh, completely lost the thread of what I was saying. Oh, yeah, juxtaposition. So it's one of the things that gives me kind of an artistic stiffy, get a bit of the um, art boner, when I see um, two things juxtaposed in a surprising way and, like, a new meaning comes out of that for me. So I guess I'm... Um, chatting away about, you know, my childhood and and whatever else I'm chatting about. I mean, these are images going on behind me, and then as you, the viewer, are watching them, I imagine some, like, new meaning might come out of it. And, um, uh, like, there's lots of research into how good our brains are at finding patterns and things, even if there really aren't any patterns. Oh, look, I've blown up. That's the island where they used to live. It's, <laughs> it's not there anymore, and they're doing that in... <laughs> in the South Pacific, and, and I kind of live in the South Pacific, so that, um, yeah, we weren't really that keen on it, A, <laughs> in the 80s, we weren't that keen on that happening where we lived. Um, sorry, I'm just completely distracted by it, it's just, I, I don't know, like I don't think, it's, it's not in the media the way that it was when I was a child, there's not the threat of, um, you know, mutually assured destruction and a nuclear war annihilating everyone on the planet. Um, but it's still around and those weapons still exist and uh, yeah so anyway um, I feel like the weather the weather guy and we can see the fallout coming across the fallout and then we're having a northwesterly and then these people's hair will fall out and their skin will fall off yeah it's kind of macabre isn't it hey um so, uh, yeah, that, that kind of thing of like putting two things together or, t or more than two things together and, and then it's discovering a new meaning um, as a result of that. That's yeah, something that I'm quite interested in. Anyway, we've kind of seems to have uh, almost time is up. Um, hopefully this has at least tickled some of your neurons a little bit. Made you chuckle, I don't know. I'm not really on form today. Anyway, so this is uh, this is Rock Rogers remembering to use his pseudonym and stay in character when he's recording, not like the other day when I said my real name, which is not Rock Rogers, but I am Rock Rogers. Bye.